Hello again, YouTubers. The new time travel Jaime 88. I'm back with another Star Trek book review. And tonight we're looking at the second part of the Star Trek Excalibur trilogy series, which is Star Trek New Frontier Excalibur Resistance or Renaissance. Well, and this is the second book of the star of the trilogy, and they still find what happens to Captain Mackenzie Calhoun and the death of the starship Excalibur. Who will decide the fate of Solar's child? Here's the front. Star Trek New Frontier. Renaissance. By Peter David. In the back. From the world of Star Trek The Next Generation. Star Trek New Frontier. The ship is a only a memory. But the drama unfolds. The USS, the USS Excalibur has been liberated. It's Captain. Mackenzie Calhoun is gone. Now the surviving crew members are desperate throughout the galaxy. And seeking to forge new lives in the wake of Excalibur's destruction. For Dr. Salar, the ship's former medical officer, that means facing a very personal crisis. Following the birth of her child, the Vulcan doctor returned to her homeworld, determined to raise the child exclusively in the way of logic, but the child's father, the Hermat, Lieutenant Commander Burgon, has her own viewer to, I mean, her viewers regard their offspring's future, and he intends to fight for his, her parental rights even means appealing to the highest authorities of two worlds. Elsewhere in Alpha Quadrant, Lieutenant Robert Lefter and her enigmatic mother travel to her pleasure planet Ryza when they encounter a genuine Starfleet legend. <clears throat> and the book, they've met Q in this book. And... I gotta say, the second part is very okay, and I really enjoy it. It's not good as uh, um, the first book, but this deserves a 9 out of 10. Alright, that's it for this week's um, Star Trek book review. Remember, you cannot find this book anymore because they're out of print. You have to download it on Amazon, Nook, or you can find the book on Amazon, eBay, um the thrift store so make sure to rate comment and subscribe thanks for watching